stay with us. Steer a moving. What a pig. That's a beautiful animal. It's the end of March. Pretty soon we're going to be into some April warm weather. And finally, the hard water is gone. The ice is disappearing off the bodies of water. And we're finally thinking about casting here again on the MTK team. So I've got a little setup in front of us here. And what I'm prepping for is before I get full into the bass season and bass fishing, when that ice first disappears off, that's a great opportunity for some big pike in casting for what's called ice out pike. As soon as the ice melts, then we can really take advantage of some great uh, pike bites. So, I've got a setup of preparation for northern pike. So first, let's just talk about spinner baits. The blades are all different. Some have two blades where you've got a more round blade up front and then the trailing blade is more slender, different colors, silver and gold obviously are the main colors. You've got blades that have some scales on them type things. You've got blades that aren't one piece but they're actually in a three piece or a two piece and that gives a really cool kind of fish motion with these blades. So all different color heads, all different color eyes, hooks, really cool setup. So a great way to save money for your spinner baits is instead of if you want a new skirt you know, that, that thing that trails off of the spinnerbait. If you want a new color skirt, you don't have to go buy another spinnerbait and, you know, switch that out. You can actually have your spinnerbaits be bare and put new color skirts on with different patterns. So, let me show you how to put a new skirt on a spinnerbait and explain why I'm doing that. This beautiful one right here. You've got nice red eye, I like that, white for a little bit of brighter colors, shiny red hook. You've got this top, more circular silver blade, and then the more slender golden blade. So, I really like the looks of that one. Let's choose what skirt we're going to have. So, i got a few different colors of skirts here, but I'm going to go with this one. Why am I going to choose this skirt? Because Sandy Pond is filled with perch and pike, that's what they're eating. It, it, they're, the majority is them picking off perch and then smaller large mouse, some bluegills, but it's mostly perch. So look at this. Yellow colors, you've got your green, it's even got the black stripes, some orange in there. All the colors that a perch has, this skirt literally has perch, 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 perch colors. So what we're gonna do is we are going to separate the top of this skirt just like so so it's kind of falling over and we're going to put the hook right in the middle of that rubber band and all it is really is sliding it like this and you see how there's this little ridge in the spinnerbait that's right where that rubber band is going to go you're just going to match that up and so i'm going to push sometimes they're a little hard to push over but that just makes it so they're ever more sturdy. And so now, that is a beautiful looking spinnerbait for ice out pike. Perch colors here, and I love the shine. That's gonna create some great action. And the northerns are gonna be after it. All right, so, completely different setup. This one's heavier. We've got a bullet sinker added on above this blade. Beautiful scaled silver blade. And th this is going to be, maybe if I'm trying to get a little deeper, you know, a couple, couple more feet down in the water column. So, really like the yellow finish on here. Again, the red eye. A lot of lures for predator fish have red eyes. They think that it's very attractive to predator fish. So, let's go on and put this skirt, this little different coloring. You know, if my perch colors aren't working exactly the way I wanted to, guess what? Simple. We'll switch to a spinnerbait that has a different colored skirt. Slip this right on. And now that one's a little wild off to the sides, but it still looks like something a pike would absolutely snack on. Beautiful. All right, let's talk about the other pike baits. A crucial thing when fishing for any predator fish, predator fish, I mean pickerel, I mean muscalunge or pike, as we're talking about now. This is the most important thing 
as far as tackle and preparation goes. You need to have a metal leader. They have sharp teeth that will cut through line, cut through braided line. I will be using braided line, but it is going to connect to this metal leader, and then the other end of the metal leader is going to connect to my lure. So metal leader, very, very important. I will always have this on when I'm casting for pipe. Here's my Power Pro braided line. Going to be using that. This is 15 pound test. Don't need too much, um, but it's braided and it's super strong. So Power Pro or Spider Wire is a great braided line. I love both. So just some other baits for casting. You got your nice flashy larger spoons. Very cool patterns on there. Keep your treble hooks very sharp at all times. And spoons are great. Bucktails. Bucktails are very popular for musky, but also great for pike. So you got some feathers coming down here, some hair, and a big blade. This is, you know, pretty much like a giant inline spinner that you use for trout. You know, trout, they look just like this, but they're about that big. Um, and it also, it has a blade just like a spinner bait that's going to spin around, and it's uh, a nice little bucktail. So that's a great bait. Next, I love this. This is a little bit heavier. It's called the Bulldog, but really cool colors. You can see the sparkles on there. This dives pretty deep. You're not going to want to use this if you want to stay a little higher in the water column if you're dealing with real shallow water. Like a lot of times pike fishing, you might be casting in 8, 10 feet. That's not the bait for this usually. And um, that's another great bait. And lastly, one of my favorites. This is the Rapala Swimming Magnum and really cool action. It does some weird things. All of a sudden you'll be bringing it in and it'll go woo and you'll be bringing it in just like this, shaking back and forth. Woo, it'll go on some weird, weird off trails from what usual lures do. It's got some erratic action and that's really going to excite these pike. So thanks for letting me talk a little bit about preparation for northern pike and hopefully we'll get a video soon of casting for these big gator roots. So stay tuned.